Interestingly, a recent report says that the tablet market is a bubble. Manufacturers are overproducing to try to lower their product costs, but demand just isn't that high. Is it time to buy a tablet? This report suggests that they may be getting much, much cheaper very soon. To help me sort this out, please welcome John Abel, Wired.com's New York Bureau Chief. Hey, John. Hey, Shelley. Tablet bubble. Yeah, well, maybe except for Apple. I mean, yeah, it, it, it might collapse in other places, but Apple will never lower their prices unless they lower their prices on a new model to get you to buy the iPad 3. Aha, uh -huh, which will be next uh, March. Be next uh, March, exactly. Right, so we have a year of $829 yeah. well, iPad 2s. Let, let, let's talk about that price, too. Uh, what people are really doing now is they're leasing their iPads. That's right. They buy them for a year for $500 or so. They use them, they get used to it, they build up their app universe, and then they sell them for like 40% of the original value and buy a new one. So they're really just renting it for half of the cover price for a, for a year. Yeah, although they didn't quite hold their value on eBay the way the iPhones did. You know, they're, they're a little bit cheese, cheaper now. And actually, the big box stores dumped out of iPad 1s just before the iPad 2. I, I so bet that, you, though, I haven't looked at the numbers, but I bet you the market in used first-generation iPads is better than 90% of new non-iPad tablet sales. <laughs> Just you're, go to Gazelle. No, no, you're absolutely right about that. So the uh, the bubble for tablets you think is going to be in the Zoom the, the and the Galaxy is that every, and the other Everyone stuff? else is running into the buzzsaw that is Apple. They, they invented something which no one really thought would work because it had never happened before. Right. They have a one-year lead on everybody. Their improvements, although incremental, are pretty significant yeah, because good. it's closer to an e-book reader now. It's lighter and stuff like that. So they're going to capture, they've captured the imagination. They're going to capture lots of new buyers. I think most of the iPad 2 buyers are new. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, um, they just have they they have the lead here. So trying to get into that business is very very tough. Barrier of entry is high. Are we going to see super cheap tablet prices? Well, you probably will, just the way we see super cheap e-reader prices. Again, Kindle owns the space. Kindle owns it. So you know, yes, yes, and it doesn't matter. Yes, and it does. John Abel from Wired.com, always insightful and always a pleasure. Thanks so much. Thank you, Shelley. I'm Shelley Palmer. You're watching Live Digital.